baby. Fundamentals is one of the hardest classes I've ever taken. Okay, finally. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to your girl's channel. You already know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into today's video. Well, weekly vlog, rather. Um, right now, it is... April 8th and it's 7:20, which I actually need to hurry up and be out the door but I'm about to ice on my face really quick but y'all know that we have class we have a long day today and we only get a two hour break in between maybe hopefully some like class breaks but I don't really know because the teacher that we did have for this class retired and so now there's another teacher and I don't know how that teacher is gonna act today so hopefully it's all good vibes. I'm gonna pray over that because yeah, we're about to head out and get our life together. So let's go. I need to fill up my Stanley cup. I already have my book bag ready to go. I have my AirPods on the charger so I can listen to my gospel throughout the day because God knows I need it, y'all. I'm really trying to cut out secular music, so I'm gonna take it one day at a time. If y'all know any good gospel music, drop it down in the um, description box below because I really would be interested right now I'm really into elevation worship in Maverick City I honestly want to go on a tour for them but I don't know y'all tell me what y'all think um I'm gonna just end up bringing this whole thing even though I feel like I want ice because it's really not cold but I don't really have time to be picky so BRB so don't worry about the situation. I never let you go. Can you handle it if I go there, baby, with you? break y'all we've been practicing just like head to toe cranial nerves this chapter that we're on i forgot what the name of it was but right now we're just going over cranial nerves and just testing like people's cranial nerves and how to do it we got a little break into 10 10 it's literally 10 04 this break is so short but it's whatever i'm going to use it at my advantage and just relax while i can i kind of want to go downstairs and get like a snack but i don't know if i really want that right now i might wait until like 12 o'clock so yeah i'll just see y'all in a little bit i'm about to enjoy this little eight minute break and get back with y'all six minutes in all reality so brb oh child we have made it y'all so it's after class right now it is 12 31 and in class we took two quizzes we went over the male um system and then we went over the female system quickly um since it wasn't our old teacher they kind of were just like figuring out where we were at but i think i did good well i know i did good on both the quizzes because i had studied before or whatever so i probably got around an 80 or 90 i just don't know because it's not ready yet but i know i got that score but y'all since i'm getting to my bible bag i ordered a bible um the she reads truth bible i'm gonna put it right here somewhere on the screen and then i ordered like a cover i think some transparent sticky notes the tabs that go with it and i just ordered a whole bunch of cute stuff and then i have some pr packages that i'm about to go to my grandma house and get so we're about to go chill with Graham for a while before we do that i do want to go get something to eat so i'm going to be going to la Roya to do like a pickup order and while my food is um being cooked i'm gonna just get like a drink or whatever i did have class at two but i honestly i'm gonna skip out on that class it's my first class that i've missed like the entire semester since january when we started and we're allowed to miss like five classes but i kind of just want to study fundamentals get my head on straight i also have to still interview my grandma for my paper or whatever so i just want to chill and relax so i might change my clothes put on like a work outset 
since I since I started my cycle since that time of the month, I haven't been doing my 75 day soft challenge. So I gotta start over with that. And I think I'm going to shorten it, even though it's still gonna be 75 days, but the way I'm gonna do it is like, oh, it's gonna be 30 days. And then when I reach 30, I'm gonna just keep going until 75 like that. So it can be like easier for my brain to like be like, oh, it's not that long and I can do it. So yeah, I've been loving going to the gym anyway. So it really doesn't matter. No, but come here. I'm going to bring Nova with me to Grandma's house because it's my little baby. And Queen is on her period. She my little baby too, but she my big baby. But she on her period and I don't want to bring her. And she don't feel like wearing a diaper, so she's in a cage right now. Y'all probably hear her chopping down on that food. Come here, Mama. Say hi to um family. Hey, hey. Say hi. Um, I was just looking for her comb. I don't know what happened to her comb because I just had it, but I misplaced it, so now I can't find it. And she really needs to be um, brushed. Y'all, I literally forgot y'all in the house, and I'm so sorry, but I recorded a little bit of what I'd been doing, kind of. I really didn't do nothing. Well, I have been doing stuff. I went to my grandma's house. I recorded when I was doing that because I got my book and stuff. And these is how the tab looks. So cute. Not my book, my Bible. This is so freaking cute. I can't wait um, to write in it. It's so cute. But after I went to my grandma's house, we went to Sam's Club together. And then I had to go to Costco's. And then I just left Harris Theater. So I've just been doing a lot of grocery shopping and stuff. Like it's Sunday. And it's a Monday. But Micah is going to get the rest of the groceries from downstairs. <sighs> I'm so tired, y'all. Like, so, so, so tired. I've been running around all day. I'm happy to finally be back in the house. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute. I'll show y'all a little haul. Let y'all know what I'm doing. And then be right back. Let me tell y'all what's on the menu. That Micah chose for tonight's dinner. It'll be That's some so jumbo pasta shells. Here's a video, but the video used shrimp and chicken. We're gonna use crab and shrimp. So we're gonna have jumbo pasta shells stuffed with crab and shrimp. Now let me show y'all like what I got from the grocery store so I can hurry up and start cooking. I'm gonna record me cooking just because I didn't record like I didn't bring y'all with me and I forgot y'all in the house. So I'm gonna just record me cooking or whatever. <laughs> And then I just put some sauce in here. So I'm about to start stuffing my shell. So let's do that. Hurry up and eat because I'm tired. And I just honestly want to see y'all tomorrow. I'm about to clean up and then I'll just see y'all when the food's done so I can show y'all how it look. And yeah, be here. Oh, it's done. Right there, in the front. Oh, in the front. I didn't even see. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Um, about to go to class at one o'clock. Mm. Right now it's twelve twenty. Queen for real. But you could have just. Kept that first part. Damn. No, Cut I'm re-recording because I see making the camera wobble back and forth. But anyway, you're ready to go to class. I'm about to eat some croissants. Well, not 
some croissants a croissant and some pineapples and yeah i'm gonna see y'all a little bit later when i'm in class today but me and Mike are supposed to go to Mountain Trash more and kind of like have a Bible study date so we're probably going to do that if not we can just have it in the house but until then I'm going to study my fundamentals exam that we have next week and mess with the kids so I'll talk to y'all later Bible study is over today I read Proverbs 1 through 2 and just to get a better understanding for myself and just to tell y'all like the word I wanted to let y'all know a little bit of what I gained from reading Proverbs 1 through 2 so basically Proverbs 1 was all about gaining the wisdom of God and basically those who have the wisdom of God, they fear the Lord, and they don't feel the they don't fear the Lord in a way of oh I'm scared, but they fear the Lord in holy reverence, which basically means they fear Him in awe, they feel Him in worship. So when you're in church, and a good example that was in my Bible was um, just as a kid, you know when you were going to church, if you were going to church, you will always see people. Um, in holy reverence of the Lord and that's basically them fearing the Lord because they're there they're worshiping their Lord they're you know praising him and you know just showing holy reverence so Proverbs 1 was basically all about fearing the Lord and gaining his wisdom Proverbs 2 was more of the same and you know just basically saying fools will always be on the path of not being righteous not trying to gain the wisdom of the Lord and they gave an example of how fools will follow and lead by women who don't even you know try to gain the wisdom of the Lord and things of that nature but in the gist of it make sure that you are sorry y'all I'm trying to get my words together but the gist of it is basically to gain the wisdom of the God fear the Lord in a good way not in a bad way gain holy reverence over him if it's starting small then start small there's always room to grow and don't become a fool on the path of unrighteousness because who will want that nobody so yeah y'all that's a little bit of what i gained from reading those chapters so i'm about to pack up and head out because i think it's about to rain and um i don't know what we're doing after this but i'm about to go back to the table where my he's at because i went to this table because it was a spider and he was he wasn't scared of it but i was and i was just getting creepy out and it was distracting me so i moved to this table so i'm about to go to his table you know converse and see what he came up with and i will see y'all a little bit later when i forgot what we're doing after this look at the view though oh child good morning y'all 
it's the next day obviously um it's wednesday i think yeah the week is going by fast it always goes by fast but yesterday i left y'all off at bible study but after we didn't really do anything we walked up like the mountain um and just walked around literally got like five thousand steps in i'm gonna try to do ten thousand every day i'm gonna try to I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try to. So, after we finished doing that, then we came in the house. I made some dinner, which was salmon, broccoli, and like half a potato, and called it a night. So, today, I'm about to study for my fundamentals exam. I already got all my stuff out. And then, I'm going to go to class at 1 o'clock. Right now, I'm making me some tea. I usually put like um, a plate over it so then it can absorb all of that heat that is getting. But I'm going to put, no, I'm going to put this over it still. So I'm going to just let it sit like this for like five minutes or so. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to drink that. All right, y'all. So it's a couple hours later and we're about to head out to go to class. I honestly hate Wednesdays because they're so freaking long. I not be having long days any other day, but on Wednesdays, this four-hour class gets me every time. It's like four hours, it never goes by fast enough. And then when I get out of school, it'd be almost nighttime. So I'm like, dang. But I'm going to bring a banana to school and some water that I already bought because I kind of went grocery shopping, but then again, I didn't. Been like 300 something dollars and didn't even really get much but i did get bananas so if i get one of these and then i think i put a water in the freezer but this one is the frosting because i just had it out so um i've been cooking lately so i don't know what we're going to eat tonight for dinner or if we have the materials well ingredients not materials <laughs> to eat what we want to eat but we'll figure that out later i haven't been going to the gym because it's that time of the month and i really don't feel like it so i gotta start my 75 day challenge over which is fine with me because i'm gonna be fit and your girl been gaining weight good weight though so yeah let's head out And as y'all can see, I'm in the house. I stopped and went to Five Guys, but I ate that in the car and just chill, watch TikTok or whatever. Um, I wanted to go get some pho, but Micah is not home right now, so we're gonna go after he gets back. Class today was so freaking long, y'all. Like it was so freaking long. It was so long that I couldn't wait till four o'clock. I had to get up out of there at like 3:54. Mind y'all, we have this class for four hours, like every week. And every week, it's the same thing. It's so freaking long. Anyway, it was, I guess, informative um, for our exam that we have coming up. Next week, we have our fundamentals exam. I don't know if next week we'll have the pharmacology exam, but we're coming to an end of the semester, y'all. Can y'all freaking believe it? It's so crazy to imagine the beginning and now the end. And let's just say I'm one happy girl that it's coming to an end. But I'm, on the other hand, I'm kind of like, let me put y'all down. I'm kind of like skeptical because I have a 69 in fundamentals and I need a 78 to pass, which I know I'll get there. It's just the fact that, baby, fundamentals is one of the hardest classes I've ever taken. I know they say you got to think critically and that's what I thought. But even when I was thinking critically, I would always choose the divider of what I really needed to be putting as the right answer. But I've kind of been getting the hang of it. So... Fingers crossed, normally now, um, is 
4.53, fuzz is probably going to be dinner for me. I don't know if Michael really wants it. Well, I know he don't want it because he don't like it, but we'll see what he comes up with for his side of dinner that he wants me to make. And I will catch y'all a little bit later because I'm about to sit down, relax, and do some studying for fundamentals. So, uh, BRB. So it's like a couple hours later and I just made an appointment to get wax and that's going to be at 7.30 um, at my wax person's house. And then I have to go to my grandma's house because apparently we're going out of town tomorrow. I got to get out of clinicals, but we're not really sure because we got to watch. We got to find somebody to watch the kids. So it's just like just in case I got to go to my grandma's house um, and pick up a few things. And then after that, I did want to stop by Apple to see if they could fix my phone, but I didn't set an appointment. So it's unlikely that I'll be able to get in. So if that is the case, after I leave my grandma's house, come back here and, well, I'm not gonna even come back here. I'm gonna go to the store because I told y'all I wanted to cook lasagna soup. So I gotta go get the ingredients for that and I gotta see what ingredients we need. I know we got cheese. Let's just look right now. Because most of the stuff we already got. I got the ground turkey. I got cheese. I probably only really need noodles. And that's it. Linguini, spaghetti, shells. Yeah, so I need noodles. And then I need... I already got Prego sauce. Heavy with McGreen. Heavy whipped cream because I only got like a little bit left. Oh, well, this is a lot, so this might be enough. We actually got everything we need, period. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm about to go to my grandma's house. Probably not gonna record going there, so I'll just see y'all a little bit later when I'm headed to um, my wife's appointment, which is at 7 30. And I got a pack, so we might just pack on camera too. So, be ready. So I just left Wawa and I got my necessities that I need for after. And then I got some chips because I don't know. I just wanted some chips. Still have five minutes left. So I don't know if that's enough time for me to go to the store. Not five minutes. I have until 7.30 to go to her house. So I don't know if that's enough time for me to go to the store or not. Because I still need to get tonight's dinner. Um, But I'm going to just head over to her house and see if she can take me early. So... So I'm honestly ready to just get out the way, y'all. If you know, you know, like, this is, like, the worst part is anticipating her, like, but <laughs> BRB. Y'all, oh, my freaking God, like, ah! <laughs> y'all, it's, like, an hour later, and your girl is back in the house. I went to go get some groceries, and I'm going to show y'all what I got, but y'all already know I'm making the lasagna soup, so that's kind of the gist of the ingredients I got. But I couldn't come back after my wife because, baby, I just had to let it. I just had to let it digest and simmer because it was so. It wasn't even crucial this time. I really feel like they say if you exfoliate, it's easier, and I feel like it's easier for the hairs to come up. But all the same pain, it all feel the same every time. Like it don't miss. But um, 
What about I say? We about to get started on dinner. I'm gonna share what I got and let's get it going because I'm ready to sit down. I gotta read my scripture for today. Um, I'm doing that pretty late, so I need to get on it. Um, I was so bored. I stopped at Starbucks like to pass by time, but I got the ricotta cheese. I already got Parmesan. Got a thing of heavy whipping cream. I got these like lean turkey sausage because I've never seen them. And y'all know I don't eat beef or pork, so when I see something that's turkey that I used to like in beef or pork, I have to get it. So that's what I got. I got some onions, and then I got a big onion because I was thinking about a flying Dutchman. But I'm not going to make that tonight because I got my mind stuck on the lasagna soup. And y'all might hear Queen crying in the background because she wants to come out, but not right now, sweetheart. I mean, and then I paired it with some garlic bread. Those are like it's egg rolls or whatever. But I'm about to make my plate, chef it up, and then go to sleep. So, yeah. Oh, I still got a pad, but I don't know what I'm bringing. So, I might kind of shop there. So, I don't know. back from clinicals i didn't bring y'all with me because it was gonna be too much and i woke up at 5 30 this morning but i'm kind of in a hurry because right now it's about three o'clock and we gotta start the drive to new york i'll be starting off so i can relax when i come back and just do homework on the way back but i gotta take a shower and do all of that i haven't packed anything y'all like nothing at all i just picked up some fruit or whatever for the road from Publix before I left Suffolk side and then I also got some chicken wings that I already ate three of and that was about 600 calories so I'm gonna drop that off at my sister's house with a bowl of lasagna soup before I go but y'all I'm in a rush so I gotta hurry up and go let me tell y'all how clinical went for real, for real clinical was the same honestly um today last week we didn't do nothing but basic stuff this week we did basic stuff but i like saw a couple things that i would thought was cool or whatever so what i did was today blood cuckoo blood glucose checks i gave insulin i passed out meds um i did vitals and then we did a we got labs this person needed this patient needed labs and so we had to get um do a vinci puncher or whatever and I may not be saying it right because I'm talking fast, but this person needed labs. We had to do a Vinci puncture. The vein was not like really showing or whatever. So we had to grab the vein finder machine. And y'all, if y'all have not experienced the vein finder machine, let's just say that it's so freaking cool that after we finished doing a patient, I did myself and I did my classmates to like see. Well, they did they self, but y'all get the gist. Um, and then before I knew it, it was over. So... Clinicals was a breeze today. We only got one more clinical left, and then that'll be it, which is crazy to think. Like, next, in three weeks, they said we'll be starting, like, our next rotation of clinicals, and that's so freaking crazy. But, y'all, I gotta hurry up, so I'll just come back once I'm out the shower, change, and pack in the suitcase, because I still gotta unpack old stuff from the suitcase. So, as y'all can see, I'm really in a frenzy right now. Okay? So, be ready. Uh, it's literally the next day and i didn't even record not even the next day it's the next week <laughs> sorry and 
I didn't record anything in DC because I just wanted to finally catch a break and we really didn't even do nothing so it's nothing to record but I'm gonna see y'all in next week's video because today is Monday and I gotta start off next week's vlog so make sure y'all like comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned final week coming up let's see how this goes see you next vlog I love how you've been making me strong on this fire